every other school in the country, their primary constituency is freshmen. Um, so most every school has something like freshman composition, freshman writing, freshman seminars, et cetera. Um, we don't actually have that course here. Um, as I remind people, Chicago is, I don't know if it's the only, country, only university in the country, but one of the few that has more faculty than we have freshmen. Um, that's because our program teaches uh, throughout the medical school, and they don't usually count those faculty when they're talking about faculty ratios to students, but we teach in the medical school all the time. And they're chock-a-block with faculty because most of their doctors are, are also faculty members. So when this program got started in the late 70s, early 80s, our task was not to help the students, it was to help the faculty. Um, this writing program got created because the people on this campus, as the guy who started used to say, you know, our freshmen write pretty well. By the time they're third and fourth year students, they don't write as well. Our graduate students struggle, but the people with the real writing problems are the faculty, which just turns on its head the standard notion that writing is a basic skill. The standard notion in the U.S. and around the world is writing, reading, writing, arithmetic. You're supposed to learn it in high school, or excuse me, grammar school, high school, maybe a little bit of college. But if you have to learn it after that, there's something wrong with you, and therefore there's something remedial about programs like this. I've been talking to people for 30 years who their main reaction to any program I teach is that they do not want to be there, and they think there's something a little bit, you know, offensive.